Wheaters Knock keeps Essex on course. Sam Cooked kept Essex's Bob Willis Trophy final hopes on course, returning with season best figures of 4 for 27 against Middlesex as 15 wickets fell on day one. Middlesex had been skittled out for 138 in Chelmsford, as South Group leaders Essex closed day one on 108 for five in reply. The hosts were dealt a blow at the start of day two, as all-rounder Ryan Tenderscarter appeared to strain his back running between the wickets in an innocuous-looking injury. Despite receiving treatment, Tenderscarter had to retire hurt on 31, bringing a six-wicket stand with Adam Wheater to an end. With batting points a priority for Essex, some quick-fire boundaries from Wheater pushed the home side into the lead. Looking to defy Middlesex for as long as possible, Tenderscarter's replacement Simon Harmer also kicked on as Essex moved to 160 for five. Wheater pushed away a couple to bring up his 50, the first half century of the match, with the Kent wicketkeeper taking 67 balls to do so, notching seven fours in the process. On a frustrating morning for Middlesex, they'd eventually find a breakthrough courtesy of Martin Anderson, who trapped Harmer to depart for 21, Essex now 194 for six. But Wheater continued his march, punishing a wider delivery from Anderson to move the home side to 200 and a first batting bonus point. Anderson would continue to be the danger man though, and he'd grab his second wicket of the morning as Aaron Beard edged a drive to Stephen Eskinazi at slip. Four balls later and Anderson was at it again. Sam Cook the latest to fall for a duck as the Middlesex all-rounder moved to figures of three for 20 from six overs to dash Essex's hopes of posting a big lead as they went into lunch 219 for eight. With the earlier injured tender scarter returning to the crease, Anderson was in no mood for sympathy as he picked up where he left off before lunch. An outside edge handing him a fourth wicket with Essex's hopes of a second batting point looking very slim. Minutes later, they were all out as Jamie Porter fell to the bowling of Tim Murta for three. Essex dismissed for 236 and unable to pick up more than just the one batting point. At the other end, Wheater ran out of partners as he finished unbeaten on 83 from 142 balls. With a blistering spell from Anderson seeing him the pick of the bowlers for Middlesex, with figures of 4 for 38. The visitors began their second innings at Chelmsford 98 runs behind, and opener Max Holden signalled his intentions early on, as all 17 of the visitors' opening runs went to his name. Sam Robson didn't partner him long, as he edged Sam Cook's delivery to Simon Harmer to give Essex the breakthrough. But Holden stood firm to bring up 50 for the visitors. However, on the stroke of T, Essex struck again, with Nick Gubbins trapped LBW, leaving Middlesex still 40 runs in arrears on 58 for two at the interval. Aaron Beard struck shortly after the restart, and his first wicket of the match was worth waiting for, with Middlesex skipper Eskenazi's off stump sent flying. The second wasn't bad either, this time rearranging Max Holden's stumps to leave Middlesex still 28 runs shy of breaking even, with six wickets remaining. Clearly in the mood, Beard struck again shortly after to dismiss Anderson, and leave the game in danger of being over before the close of play, with the away side still trailing by 14. John Simpson and Robbie White did their best to hang in there for Middlesex as they edged level. But Essex would strike just before the close of play to bring the 36 partnership to an end. As White departed leg before to Harmer, as the visitors closed the day on 123 for six and a slender lead of 25 runs against the South Group leaders, who very much remain in the driving seat heading into day three.